Hey folks, welcome back. Casey with Two Tankards here. Today we're going to be looking at video 11. In today's video, we're going to be assembling the Open Builds Power Supply Unit. So stay tuned. To assemble the Open Builds Power Unit, we simply start by installing the threaded spacers on the back of the faceplate and tighten them down. Again, there's clearly a front and back to the faceplate. So ensure you install the spacers on the back side of the plate and not on the front. Once you have them tightened down, next we take the second back plate and line up the large rectangular opening for the switch and sandwich the two plates together. Find the three small screw holes and insert the three screws to secure the two plates together. This can be a little tedious as the holes are small and can be hard to get to. Once you have those tightened down, next we simply insert the switch into the faceplate. It will snap into place. Orient the switch so the 110 volt plug is towards the outside edge of the faceplate and press firmly. Now connect the green, white, and black wire from the switch to the transformer. The green is ground, white is in for neutral, and the black is L for line. Ensure the screws are tight to prevent arcing or shorting out of the power unit while in use. These will get covered up with face plates so you will not be able to see them later on. Now we'll install the face plate on the transformer. Simply line up the six U connectors into the six open screw slots and tighten all the screws securely. This is very important to ensure the screws are connected securely so we don't have line signal or loss or problems with our power unit later on while we're trying to operate our unit. Next we'll install our top cover plate. There are three holes to connect the cover plate to the frame. There is a front and back to each of these plates, so take a look at them and ensure you're installing them correctly. Now we'll flip the unit over and install the bottom plate. There are three screw holes in the bottom plate that connect the plate to the frame. Again, there's a front and back to each of these plates, so ensure you're installing them correctly. Install the screws and tighten them down securely. Now we'll install the side plates. Check the plates, there is a left and right indicator. Install the plates on the correct sides. There are two screws, a black and a silver screw. Each side will be installed the exact same way. Place the sides on, install the screws, and tighten them down. Now that the unit is assembled, check the control voltage setting. There's a 220 and 115 volt setting on the side. Flip the switch based on your current location and your voltage needs. And the last step is to simply power up the unit and ensure you have good voltage. Simply plug in the power unit, flip the switch, and ensure the two red light indicators on the switch and the open builds come on. All right, folks, that's it for video number 11. You've assembled the Open Builds Power Supply Unit, put power to it, turned it on, make sure everything was good, and you chose the right voltage. In our next video, we're going to move on to video number 12, which is installing all the limit switches and the mounting for those limit switches. As always, if you like my content, please click like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.